Hi everyone, what is up? So in today's video, we will be toning this hair today. I'm only using blue shampoo. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually film how I tone my hair and put the product in and then I'm gonna go shower and show you guys like how much of a difference it's gonna be after I tone it and like what I'm using and it's seriously so easy. So I'm gonna show you guys what a difference it makes to go in with blue shampoo. I'll go ahead and hold it up. This one is my favorite. This is Fanola, the no orange shampoo. I've talked about this before on my channel, but this seriously is the best brand I've ever used. All right, so first of all, I always start off with a bowl like this. I have my blue shampoo in here and I have a little brush so I can apply that to the hair. So if you are actually applying this in the shower, which is another way to apply it, then you don't have to use a bowl or a brush, but I am applying it dry. And the reason I am applying it dry is because I really want to get rid of these tones and whenever I apply it dry it just works so so much better versus wet however my hair is very thick so it can handle that and it's not gonna turn blue it's gonna really neutralize it if you have very thin hair then I do not recommend going in with your hair dry I recommend actually just going into the shower with it because it's gonna grab onto it more all right you guys so I'm just gonna put my hair up really quick like a half ponytail and as you guys can see on my hair right here, it is very, very orange, brassy tones. And I'm going to go in with the blue shampoo now. Now this can get very messy and that's why I'm going in with gloves. Um, you don't have to go in with gloves. This isn't toxic. But if you don't want your hands to be stained, then I recommend going in with gloves. Also, make sure you have a bunch of towels underneath you. So if you do end up spilling anything on anything, it doesn't end up staining it. All right, so I'm adding just about to there. I'm kind of not putting a lot on my ends. And whenever I go in with toner, I only go in once a week because this can be very drying to your hair. So I really only recommend doing this once a week and that is it. So I just want to make sure it's really in my hair. Um, I'm only going to leave this on my hair for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to jump into the shower. And that is really all you need, especially because I am applying it on dry hair. Also, what I like to do is kind of just open up the hair and make sure that it's like really, really saturated. So right here, I kind of missed a section, so I'm going to go back in and apply it there. So toning your hair and dyeing your hair is very different. Toning it, you're just trying to neutralize the brassiness. It's not uh, permanent. It's very temporary. You have to continue to do it every week. Um, I like to do this because I feel like it's not damaging to the hair. You only do it once a week. It's pretty easy. You can just do it in the shower. If Like me, I like to do it with my hair dry. If you miss a spot for some reason, it's not going to be the end of the world. Don't worry. So you don't have to be so perfect with this. Alright guys, so I already went ahead and did this side of my hair, the front. I'm going to work very, very quickly because I don't want one side to be more toned than the other. So let's go ahead and jump onto this side. Alright you guys, so if you can see right here, this is definitely where I have the most orangey, brassy tone. So I'm going to get the brush and put a lot on and bring it down. As for my tips, the ends right there, I'm not really going to put a lot on there because it's really, really light, so it's more porous. So the blue is going to kind of adhere to that even more so I don't want the tips of my so I don't want the tips of my hair to be bright blue so I'm gonna kind of avoid the very ends of my hair because that's where my hair is the lightest All right, you guys, so the last thing I like to do is just kind of go through my hair and just make sure everything is really, really saturated. I know there's some on my face and neck, but don't worry about it because this comes off totally fine. It just sticks more to your hands versus uh, your neck or face. It might leave it stained like slightly, like a little bit, but I promise it won't be stained forever. So what I like to do is just kind of go through the hair and make sure everything's like really, really saturated and it feels really wet. So I'm going to leave this on my hair for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'm going to go in the shower and just wash this out. I'm not going to go in with another shampoo or anything. I'm just going to go in with conditioner and kind of let it sit in the hair. Um, just because I said this stuff can be very drying to your hair. So if you can use a really, really good... So if you could use a really good moisturizing conditioner, I would go ahead and do that and kind of just leave it in your hair for a little bit. And then another thing I wanted to bring up, if for some reason it comes out in your hair and you're, you're in the shower and you're just noticing that it's really, really blue or purple or you don't like how it looks, go in with clarifying shampoo and it will literally take everything out. I will leave down below a really good clarifying shampoo that I like. I like the Neutrogena one. I think it's really, really good. 
um, hairstylists have recommended that. Like, if for some reason you're just like, oh my god, my hair is literally blue, or you know, um, my hair just adhered to it too much, just go in with clarifying shampoo and it will literally take all of it out. Personally, um, if your hair does come up blue a little bit, that will go away within washes, so you don't really have to worry about that. But um, if for some reason you know you have to go to some event and your hair turns out blue or purple, you can just go in with kind of clarifying shampoo and wash it out. That doesn't really happen to me. A few times it has happened to my ends where they came out a little bit purple or blue just because my ends are so, so light. So the, like I said, light hair tends to be more porous, so it kind of just sticks to that more. But my hair is really, really thick and more on the medium blonde side, so I've never really had that issue where my hair ended up being blue or purple. But if that happens to you and you're like, oh, Go in with a clarifying shampoo even head and shoulders would probably take that out as well so yeah so let's go ahead wash this out and then i will come back on the camera with my hair styled and show you guys the difference all right so i'm back and this is what my hair looks like now that i went ahead and washed out all that blue shampoo i went ahead and just dried it so you guys can really see what it looks like so now it is nighttime um so it might be a little bit darker in this room so i'm going to reiterate this is what i use the Fanola no orange shampoo i pretty much use that all over my hair so now you guys can obviously tell on my hair it just looks a lot brighter a lot more vibrant and it definitely helped get and it definitely helped neutralize those orange tones so I'm gonna go ahead and stand up because my hair is really really long and yeah so it really really helped get rid of all of that brassiness and all that so I do feel like there's still a little bit of brassiness left but I'm sure going in with one more blue shampoo of this will definitely help neutralize everything so if you do have medium brown hair like me and you dyed your hair and it came out brassy or orange like that or you just want to go ahead and kind of tone it a bit, I do highly recommend going in with this blue shampoo. I used to go in with the purple shampoo. So a long time ago before I knew about blue shampoo, I used to go in with purple shampoo and I noticed that it was really not doing anything. I've already mentioned this before in another video but I'll mention it again. That is because in the color wheel, orange is opposite to blue so you really need to go in with the blue tones. Right, so that is pretty much it. I feel like I covered a lot in this video if you guys have any additional questions definitely let me know in the comments below let me know if you guys use the same brand or what other brands you guys use to tone your hair and that is pretty much it i will see you guys in my next video make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified for every time i post